Welcome back you beautiful Python developers and coders. Uh, this is day 17 and uh, in this video we are going to be doing some maintenance work for our project since the last few videos we have just been coding and not taking care about our code or uh, the way we how we handle some kind of logic. So we are going to be doing some maintenance work in this video. In the last video we created this mute button. So let's get started with this video. The first thing I want to do, the first maintenance part that I want to do is that there have already been a lot of uh, PNG files and images over here. So I just want to create a new folder. Let's uh, create a new folder called images. And I just want to copy all of these images inside that uh, images folder. So I'm just gonna drag them in this images folder, okay. And then I'll have to change the path of all of the things. So let's get started with uh, the icon. Where have I put in the icon? Let me just find it by typing in melody.ico. Okay, oh, here it is. So it's inside images backslash melody.ico. So first is done. Let's scroll down. And then I have to change these images slash images all right now you can just copy and paste this everywhere paste it over here paste it over here paste it over here mm. pretty boring work nothing very exciting and let's i think we are done with everything let's reload it and see if it's working all right so this is working uh, we have uh, put in all the images inside this images folder the second thing I want to do is that I want to change the way how the logic of the pause button works. So currently if we go back to our uh, play underscore music function, it sees whether this paused variable is initialized or not. If it's not initialized, then it uh, executes this ex uh, name error exception code. And if it's not initialized or if it's initialized, sorry, then it executes the code under this else condition. I want to change this because this is not a very good logic to use and there can be a lot of exceptions over here and uh, this is just not a good way to write code. The good way to write code is how we did with this, uh, what we did with this mute underscore music function. We declared a variable muted equals to false and then we used if else condition for this uh, muted to mute your music and to unmute our music. We are going to do the basically the same thing. We are going to do the same thing with our pause button. So we are just gonna scroll up. It's not going to be very difficult. It's going to be pretty easy. And just below this uh, pause underscore music function, I'm going to declare a variable paused equals to false. Because when we start our music player, the, the audio is not going to be paused. That's why it's default value. We are putting it as false. And then inside this, uh, this, this all is fine because we have declared global paused and we are putting in the value of true in pause to variable when the pause button is clicked. And then over here, we are just gonna use the if else condition, which says if paused, then do something. If it's paused, then uh, uh, let's write password for now and else do something else. So what we are gonna do is we are just gonna copy this code from uh, over here and I'm just gonna paste it like below over here and I'm just gonna copy and paste this code over here and I'm just gonna remove this all of this uh, this useless code all right so what is happening behind the scenes in this code so when we press the pause button it goes to this pause underscore function and it makes the paused equals to true it uh, put puts in the value of true inside this paused variable. And now the music is paused. Now when we press on play music again, it goes to if paused, uh, actually I have to write in global paused over here too, because we haven't imported the value of paused inside this function. And when we write global paused, then actually we are accessing the value of true in this inside this function, otherwise uh, we are not. Anyways, uh, so this paused will be true. If true, then unpause. So when we click on the play button, it's going to unpause this. And uh, then we have to also write paused equals to false because we have to change the value of from true to false 
when the music has started playing and the music has resumed so that when we press the pause button again then it can go over here to pause underscore music and can change the value of uh, basically it can change the value all right so this looks pretty good and let's try this out and see if it works let's run the main file uh, let's open up something also uh, let me just change this to file name file name I think in the previous video uh, it was already file name I, I changed it behind the scenes but in this video I just wanted to go back to that file name let's reload it run dot main file uh, file open and we can free our IC fire let's click on play Oh, misty eyes. The music is paused. Now we can click on play again to resume the music. The mountain below. And we can do it as much as we want. So now our play and pause button are working properly, and the logic in the play underscore music function and the pause and the unpause uh, logic has been implemented properly without using uh, the that way of. Uh, checking whether the pause variable has been initialized or not is a little bit shady it's not good coding practice that's why we are not going in that direction and that's why i decided to change it to uh, this one anyways the last thing that i want to do is uh, i just want to basically close these uh, because the code has been too long so if you see our code is now i'll just scroll down our code is now 142 lines so it's getting a little bit tiring to go up and down on this code so i'm just going to minimize all of these uh, things so that we don't have to go back again and again through them so i'm just going to close all of this stuff that we don't need close this up close this up this up this up and whenever we need one of these function we'll just go back and open them again and all right now it's uh, even though it's the same number of lines but we can go up and down pretty easily so guys, this is pretty much for this video. It was a pretty short video considering our other videos that are pretty long, but uh, it's fine. In the next video, we are gonna learn how to uh, basically calculate the total duration of our music, uh, the music that we are loading and we are playing in the background and display it somewhere over here. So I'll see you on day 11 and yeah, peace out.